Hello again, it is I, Earthman Brick, and we're back with another one of these Ming toy kits. And these ones are just the gift that keeps on giving. This is an example of one that we've kit bashed before and stuck on lots of orky panels and had a really good fun time with the thing. And uh, of course, we can lift it off the base here because of the we've used the uh, wire and the pin and stuff there, so it does. Hold in, it is pretty secure. And if you ever want to toughen it up, you can usually just uh, put on a lump of furniture polish or gloss or whatever just to thicken it up. And it should make it a much tighter fit if that's what you're after. But yes, we'll be doing another one of these. And I thought I'd do something a little bit different this time because, you know, I I don't like to do the same thing too many times, and I thought, Ned looks pretty awesome. But when I flip the box over, look at this. There's the top of the plane there, and I think, oh, that looks nice. And there's the bottom of the plane, which is a separate plastic part, and I thought, my god, the bottom looks great as well. So I think both of these... We'll split them up into two planes, so we'll use one kit to make two planes. And you can see it there, the bottom half looks, almost looks like a plane if I hold it upside down there. That kind of works as a plane. A very sort of dank futuristic type one as well. So that's pretty damn cool. And I've got uh, two of the bases. This is the last two of the flying stands I made ages and ages ago. So what we'll do is we'll jam in, I've got some, uh, what is it, nails I found on the street that don't have the part where you hammer in on the butt of the nail. It's actually cut off. So that'll serve as a great pin and I'll just drill and poke that in and glue it in place there. And I'll have it so it's got a similar in-out, poppy in and out bit like that. But I figured... I'd talk you through this part of the process first because we won't be doing a time lapse on this. And then I'll talk about it a bit more later once I make up the two little planes. So catch you soon. Mm, bye. Hello again. So here they are assembled. One doesn't have propellers on yet because I want to paint the turbine cavities first before attaching them. Speaking of the turbines, they're made of tomato puree caps. I tend to go through a lot of chili dishes, and so, thusly, I get a lot of caps. Yes, they were attached on using pieces of card, just rolled up around the existing half of the turbines on each segment. The saw blades, rivets and panels are items I've made in previous videos, of which there will be links into the description below. Speaking of the rivets though, I should probably update that video, since the quality of it isn't the best. Please let me know in the comments section if there's any previous content I've covered that you'd like me to do an update on. But anyway, I'll go into more detail about how I've gone about these builds in the next segment. Hello there, and we're back. There's the kit. We aim to make two planes. So using the top half and the bottom half, which was, uh, let's see how that turned out. I'd say, it turned out pretty damn well. I'm very happy with these results. And yes, we've used the same methodology for attaching them to the bases so they can be attached and detached quite easily. And it's just a bit of rubber wire there. As you can see, I've added a fair amount of panels and such like to the bottom. I've not really bothered painting them. And just didn't see a whole lot of point. I thought the real magic would be on top. 
and you can see the checkered bits we've taken from the PPE magazine there a catalog whatever you want to call it and that just slides back onto there no problem as you can see it holds its position pretty nicely and you can pivot it round so that's a, another Oki plane in our arsenal and this one as well uh, although I need to tighten this one up because it's swiveling a bit too much on there and I think the way to fix that is just to fill this with PVA glue so I might do that at another point can't be bothered right now but yes I think making the sharky teeth worked very nicely quite enjoyed that whole process and uh, for the bottom here it was mostly a ball of tin foil and then I've just layered it over with layers and layers of card round and round and it's pretty bloody strong as you'd have to really hack at this to get it apart I've used old bits of MDF sprue frame. Uh, you can tell that's the tomato puree caps. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. I think this has turned out pretty bloody nicely. And I've also used a few little bits from the other kits. Just to add a little bit of extra bling and just use up those bits. And these pointy bits at the end, these were from the one of the MDF kits, so that's just more MDF bits there and there. And the same with this bit here, the tail fin, that's a piece of MDF. And I've just gone over it with a piece of card that's gone right around and helped anchor it in place. It's not going anywhere. And then all these exhausts at the top, that's all either plastic straw or black cables all jammed into what was the holes where the bombs would sit because this is meant to be the underside of the plane here that part there and we've turned it into the top side and I think it's worked out very nicely very orky and yes, I've still got a few more of these kits to make, so. I've got an Airfix kit and another Ming uh, plane kit, so. I think I'm going to have a full flight squadron on my hands before I know it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. And mm, bye.